Right now, I want you to meet someone. Meet Pepper. He can dance. As you can see, he can also talk, believe it or not, and he's coming to a London school to help pupils learn about robotics. What else? Uh, the idea is to train scientists of the future and to create skilled employees who will work in this burgeoning sector of London's tech industry. Here's Helen Mulroy. Could this be the future of our relationships? The Japanese company behind this robot thinks so. They say Pepper is the first robotic companion that can read emotions and interact with people. If you clap and cheer and pour, I might just show you what else I can do. In London, Pepper is going back to school, where he'll help children learn about programming. The London Design and Engineering University Technology College, or UTC as it's to be known, will open in September. It will be the first school in the UK to have robots in the classroom. All the technology is just so exciting. It gives us the opportunities to experience it firsthand before we go into the workplace. While this technology may be innovative, it's also limited. Hello, I would like to guess your age and gender. Please don't be offended if I get this wrong. But it's hoped by teaching kids like these about programming and robotics that in the future, they'll be the ones to develop it further. The technology is out there. What we need is the creativity. So what we're giving them is the chance to use the technology to be creative. This state-of-the-art school hasn't even been built yet. But when it is, its electronic colleagues won't be the only thing to make it different. Yes, 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 UTC is teaming up with the University of East London and a number of large companies, Thames Water, IBM and Lego, to name just a few, not only to fund the school's building, but to provide future opportunities for its pupils. It's a collaborative effort to ensure that at the end of their time at the UTC, uh, we're working with our employer sponsors to offer these young boys and girls either a place in higher education, a place as an apprentice, or a place in the place of work. Helen Mulroy, BBC London News.